in the olden days, uh, I, uh, I had a class, I, I taught many, many classes, but I had one class in particular that was near and dear to my heart. And my friend, uh, Dirk Price, and I uh, taught this group of 10 to 15 students. They all were very intermediate to advanced level. And uh, we, it's like all the stars aligned and we would get together with a kind of purpose that no other class I've ever taught before or since uh, has had that spirit, that energy. Um, I, it's, it's such a way that um, I felt like we were all equal. We all wanted the same thing. And so we uh, would design, I, I, I would design uh, sequences, but I would have other students They'd go home and come back and say, here's this thing in 11, and we're doing 6 and 5. And we would take those up the neck, and then we'd take, take that same odd time sequence, compound sequence, and move it through momentary key changes. Here's G, now to E, right? And we got to back to G. So this was all happening spontaneously, like people were just throwing this stuff at you, and you guys would just well, they roll just with throw it. Throw it out, and I go here. I go. I count off, and and then twenty people are just sitting there doing. And we and listen. It's you had to be on the ball. You couldn't come to this class hungover or you know have a have a bad night. You everybody left this class with their brains coming out their ears because it's it wasn't about technique these all these guys had great technique we weren't searching for that we were searching for new you know ways to use visual guide tones to play through momentary key changes to build motifs now you could say this is just a sequence but it's not to to those of you, many of you are out there who know visual guide tones know that these sequences are just notes. Can I turn that into a, a phrased idea? Absolutely. And, that, and that's one of the things I think that so many people, and I know I've struggled with it for, for ages, it's like you, you work on all this stuff, you work on it in isolation, and as a guitar player, often you are in isolation. You're by yourself with a metronome, yes. or you, and, and you don't have that interaction and that that that, that back and forth, you know, that, that just fuels the spontaneity, fuels this creativity and allows you to, you really start to own the, the skills at that point, right? You, it starts to become music, right? Like you're really it, spontaneously composing. What we do is we do a spontaneous, like four bar or eight bar composition with just the, the progression. So I go, Jeff, you know, give me a chord, C major nine. Dave, give me a chord. F minor 11. You know, and, and there's our progression. And if it was too stupid, which we came up with dumb things, but, you know, many times they were just, yes, this we're going to do. This. So now how do we play through that? That's all it was about. How do we play? And I don't mean what are the scales. I mean, let's create a melodic contour idea. Uh, and man, that like that's real life. You, you could be walking into a session. You could be walking in, and it's like, here's the chart, and then you're like, plus I got to be musical. Like this is, it, I'm not sitting there going to do scale. Oh, I'll play this scale over this. Like, okay, be creative. Go. You got to take maybe two, three if you know the producer. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> exactly. That's it. You're done. You got to be done. And, and do something great. So these, you know, these so-called mechanical sequences that I've dealt with students for 40 years going, well, I don't want to be a mechanical player. And I'm saying, I'm not making you a mechanical player. You are. These are notes. Do something with them and stop complaining about mechanicality. So I'm going to ask you something. And, and feel free. Feel free to say no. But... Would you be into doing this as a live 
session where we can invite, you know, anywhere from 10 to a thousand of our closest friends to join us to do this stuff spontaneously and to do that drill people and put them on the spot and in the spirit of doing this all together and, and exploring what this is all about, which is being creative and musical with all this stuff. I am more than willing. It's, it's been a, a goal. And, you know, since we've started a partnership, uh, I've been considering, you know, bringing this up and, and doing it. We've been working more on a beginning level, which I'm glad we did. I think we've covered a lot of the, you know, things that need to be covered for beginning to be. Exactly. And if anybody coming in, if it's some stuff's a little over their head, we can direct them to, to get you caught up because it's, yes, it's yes, going to be overheads, like for sure. But, yeah. You know, it's whether you can hang with us or not, it's not something for you to worry about. No. Join in with us if we do this, because uh, I'm telling you right now, I'm putting my rear end on the line because I guarantee you I'm going to bring up stuff where I'm, I'm going to probably fail. They well, I'm going to ask for like a, a 10 minute. Uh, a, a bit in every one to we'll call it stump Dana and we'll have people throw stuff at you and see if we can stump you. No, I'm calling you it right now. To, I'm calling <laughs> it right now. You don't have to do that. I'll do it on my <laughs> own. Thank you very much. So I'll tell you what, um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to hold you to this and I'm going to, okay. I'm going to take a, an, a piece of this conversation that we're having today. And I'm going to put a link for people to sign up and we're going to start something because I think this is, an amazing idea. I think this is something I wished I had access to my whole life. Like, because you want to be in the room of people that are doing this and, and pushing your limits and, and, and answering your questions, guiding you through stuff that are, is over your head and, and learning about it. And I, I think this, is, this is one of your best ideas yet. Well, I'm willing to do it. Uh, I mean, I'm willing to do it. I really want to do it. And I, just with the understanding that it's fun. Yes. I don't want to, we're not charging anybody. I don't want to do that. I just want to get with, uh, and of course it's directed towards more advanced players, Yeah. but that's okay. Everybody is, would be welcome. I, I think it's a great thing to, just like you said, to get in. I, if I could sit in on a session with Jeff Beck or Pat Martino or I mean, Pat Matheny or holds and all my favorite guys just to watch them with their friends you know experimenting and going to places that were difficult for them we have to do this we absolutely i'm going to hold you Let's to it we it. have to do it. do it and for anybody who's seeing this right now you're going to find a link somewhere above beside below this video to click on it and it's going to lead you to a page where you can sign up to get the reminders and we'll give you maybe a couple of emails for some you know, some prep stuff, but this is going to be awesome. And you'll get a link to the, the time of the, the, the stream and it's going to be live too. Hey, we'll, we'll do this live. Absolutely, so that oh, we, absolutely live. No, no, it, the, we, the, I, uh, that's the only way to do it. All right. Let's so just, click the link, okay. sign up and we'll see you guys there.